Hey everybody and welcome to um, one of my free tutorials on free pro uh, tutorials on free programs that's what it's called. Um, I guess the title is what free for what about me because of people who can't afford some of those expensive programs. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Blender 3D's fluid control. Now we start off with just three basic cubes here. There's one in the middle and then a um, an almost big flat one right there in the bottom and then a big one to contain it all and that's our domain object. So basically I'm just going to show you how to use this little square to control the fluid and kind of bring it up like um, fluid control. Um, just make sure that you know how to work Blender basically like you need to know how to just make a regular fluid simulation, not control, just a regular fluid. Um, before you do this, so I could recommend you go ahead and learn Blender before you continue with this tutorial. Otherwise, there are plenty of other tutorials on the internet that can help you with that. Um, so go ahead and select your domain object. Um, go to the objects window and uh, physics button. And then where it says fluid, go ahead and click fluid and then click domain. Do not click bake yet because we need to set everything else. Uh, click the object for your fluid. Enable fluid and make it a fluid. And then click your um, control object. Enable fluid. And right there it should, shake, should say control. Now you'll notice here that instead of frames it says time. So at the start is zero. That means zero seconds. And end is point three. Um, any number that's right after the decimal is the second. So if it's 0.3, it's 3 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and make that 0.1 because I only need 1 second. Uh, or if you want it to be a half second, 0.05. There you go. That's half a second. Um, but I need um, a whole second to show you guys. Um, attraction force and velocity force. Um, I'll start with attraction. Attraction force, range, or uh, strength. Um, this is how powerful your attraction force is, like how hard it will pull the fluid towards your object. I, I can leave that at point 0.2 because um, it's pretty close to the fluid. I, mean, I don't need much force. And then radius, that's how large the area of the force will be. And um, then there's velocity force, there's strength and radius. And then there's quality. I'm going to bring the quality all the way down. And uh, all the way down is 5 for me anyway. Um, just to make the tutorial faster and then reverse if this do if you do not click enable for reverse if you just leave it as is um, the control object will suck the fluid into it if you click it it will blow I believe I believe it will blow the fluid away from your object but I haven't really experimented with that but that's what I think it will do um, so once you have your um, control object set now you want to make sure turn it around here a little bit. You want to make sure that your control object is a little close to the water. It doesn't have to be touching all the time, but if you don't mess with the attraction force and velocity force radiuses, then your control object force of control will not reach your fluid. So just make sure it's pretty close. Uh, maybe even touching if you want, but I'm not going to I'm going to go ahead and leave it not touching because it's it's close enough. So um, once you have that all set and uh, you've got your fluid here, go ahead and click your domain and then click bake. And it will begin um, calculating the fluid's behavior. Now you can see already the fluid is building up and warping into the cube, which is the control object. And there you have just a basic uh, fluid control animation. Sometimes you may notice that the fluid actually goes up above your object, and that's just the force. It's just kind of blowing up, like shooting up. So if you leave it long enough, eventually it will settle and go to the shape of your object but sometimes you need to be careful because um, it will not 
if you have your um, in the control objects options if you have the radiuses for the attraction force and velocity force wrong or if you don't kinda mess with those sometimes um, your fluids bubble will be bigger than your control object so either mess with the size of your object or the radiuses and um, you know just kinda experiment with that it takes a little time to getting used to I'm still trying to figure out how all that um, gets put together right but so there you can see the fluid has bubbled up and is surrounding the control object and then after one second the fluid will just drop it will just fall um, and then go back to natural fluid behavior see it's doing that now I think it's doing that now yeah Yeah. So after that one second that I set it to, it just drops the fluid and it goes back to normal. It'll kind of splash a little bit. See, it's kind of making a little wave. But, um, okay, I can go ahead and stop here. Alright, now you can see all the pink is the fluid. That was the domain object, but it turns into the fluid. Um, I mean, just kind of come into it here. Alt A. And then you can watch the fluid as it comes up into your object and um, becomes your object as fluid. And then it'll just kind of release it and it'll fall back down and then kind of start a little splash or a wave. And there you have a basic fluid control. If you have any questions or I may have skipped something if that happens, just go ahead and comment or something or let me know and I will do my best to fix it. Thanks for watching the tutorial.